Tony Jeffrey. What was the motivation when you were fighting? To be better than the opponent, really. I, I used to worry all the time about my opponent. Is he doing more than me? Is he going to beat us? I was scared about losing. Yeah. I never wanted to lose. And I used to train hard, try and think, he's going to be doing this, I need, I need to train harder. And I'd chip myself thinking he's going to train harder than me. The more I achieved, the more pressure I felt to keep achieving. And every time I went into a ring, I felt I had to win. And that helped me with my training because I never wanted to lose. And I used to always think I need to be the best, I need to be the best. The mental game going into the fight and how you can deal with the nerves and how you can deal with the pressure is by doing something called visualization. I'd be lying in bed with my eyes closed thinking about this. Leaving the house, driving to the venue, getting warmed up, getting my hands wrapped, walking to the ring, the crowd cheering, getting into the ring, seeing my opponent, the bell ringing, round one, round two. I would walk all the way through the fight in my mind and then winning the fight and then that will be the end of the visualization. Still undefeated, the mighty Macom, Tony Jeffrey. To be a champion you've got to be the best, I think you've got to be disciplined inside the ring and outside the ring if it's, if it's boxing like you're talking about and you've got to make sacrifices, sacrifices the big big thing that holds people back from reaching their full potential sacrificing a night out I sacrificed my school prom I sacrificed trips with my friends nights out with my friends I, I sacrificed all sorts in my personal life and was selfish to get me where I was and that's what you had, had to do that's what you've got to do you've got to be selfish but in a way where fighting comes first training comes first if you want to be successful you've got to do that and that's not just in boxing, I think that's in, in all parts of life. If you want to be successful, you've got to be selfish and you've got to be disciplined. You've got to think about, think about yourself and what's good for you. After uh, my last fight, my hands got to the point where icing them every day wasn't working, icing them after every session wasn't working. I couldn't turn a key, I couldn't button my trousers, I couldn't zip the top. I couldn't hardly move my hands, so I got surgery. Then my hands never recovered after the surgery. When I got forced to retire, uh, I got depressed. I put weight on, I started drinking. I went through a really bad stage in my life. Box since I was 10 years old, now I'm 27, without a plan B. Didn't know what I was gonna do with life. Uh, so when I retired, from boxing, I had to look at something else to do. I never had a plan B. And all I really knew throughout my life is boxing. And I went to a fitness gym in Santa Monica where they did boxing classes. And I got a job there. And there was a guy who worked there, it was the manager called Kevin Watson, who was an amazing trainer. I was there for two or three months. and. I left and I said, Kevin, come leave with me. We're going to start a, a boot camp, donation boot camp on Santa Monica Bluffs. And that's what we did. And then a few months later, we found a empty building, an empty warehouse called, uh, and then we turned that empty warehouse into a boxing fitness studio called Boxing Burnout. Focused all my energy and I put into boxing to get to an Olympic level athlete into business, just transitioned it like that, and then business start going up and up and up. And with me having Kevin as a business partner, who is an amazing uh, a businessman and an amazing trainer, really knowledgeable in, in the fitness space, uh, we were like the, the match made in heaven. I think fitness is very important for, for everyone. You know, there's that saying, people don't stop working out because they get old. But people get old because they stop working out. At the gym, we offer 
boxing fitness classes. We, we're known for our signature class, which is called Box and Burn. You're doing everything a professional boxer would do in a training camp, apart from getting punched in the face, within a one hour session. I get people telling me every day that they love my work and the content that I put out. Instagram is a business, and the more good quality content I put out there for free, that just comes back to me and helps me in my business. In the punch, I'll show you again. I've slipped and turned. That's how you get more power in the lead hook. And now when I look back at it, my, uh, my hands getting injured was the best thing that happened in my boxing career. Because now I'm not getting pushed in the head anymore. Now I can spend quality time with my daughters and that's what, uh, an amazing business what I love and, and I'm in the best place in my life right now. And if my hands didn't get injured and I was continuing the fight, I don't know what my brain would have been like. I don't know, I wouldn't have been living where I'm living right now. Things would have been a lot different.